The memory node stores the uh, state of the object uh, at one frame and gives it to uh, another object either at the same frame or the frames before that. So let's create a cube, make it smaller, add a vibrate tag to animate it. Go to animation, add a vibrate tag, enable position and increase it on the on the three axes. X and Y and Z. So it vibrates on all three axes and make the frequency one so it's slower. Now this object will be uh, animating on all axes uh, randomly. Now let's create another object which is uh, a sphere, make it smaller. We want the sphere to follow uh, the cube. So in order to do that we'll add a, an espresso tag. It doesn't matter if it's on the sphere or on the cube. Create a uh, espresso tag and then drag the cube and the sphere and the sphere and then search for memory. So now we have the memory node. Since we want the uh, sphere to inherit the position of the cube with some delay, we have to input the uh, position of the cube, drag and let go, go to uh, coordinates, global position, global position. And we want to output the global position of the cube to the global position of the sphere. Now there's some randomness happening, which is because uh, the uh, global position is a vector type of data. It's not a real type of data, it's a vector. So I have to change it to the data type to vector. Now, the history depth stores, uh, controls how many says the memory node can, of, can store of the cube. So if the object, if the cube has been animating for uh, 100 keyframes and then there's 100 states of the of the cube but if the history depth is only one it's only the last state of the object will be stored if the uh, history depth is 20 um, then 20 frames frames prior will be stored of the current state of the of the cube and the history level uh, controls which state which of the stored states is given to the to the uh, next object, which is the sphere in this case. So if we store 20 uh, states of the cube and we want to give the last 10 to the, to the sphere, this is how it will animate. If we play the animation, this is how it will play.